Good morning, church. I hope everyone is doing well at home and is uh, feeling better that people are being vaccinated. Uh, prayers to you each day for good health and comfort. Today's uh, devotion is going to be about Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest. And we at um, All Saints Lutheran Church are going to be doing a drive to help the refugees and the immigrants who are coming across the border. I have a couple of um, Bible verses that I'd like to talk to you about, and then I'll tell you a little bit about Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest Immigration and Asylum Seekers Program. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. 2 Corinthians 9.11 I've had the opportunity to meet some of these refugees and immigrants that have come across the border. And the most touching part is when they are given some love and some care and that it reflects uh, through Lutheran social services and it reflects God's gift to them. Um, and they usually have a prayer and, and thank God for the work that they get received from Lutheran social services. The Refugee and Immigration Service is a stepping stone that it help, helped them real stabilize and start living again. There have been many challenges for them and there are so many people that tried to help. This is a quote from one of the refugees. We have worked very hard to become a part of the fabric of what it means to be American. That's a former refugee. Um, for more than 30 years, Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest has served some of the world's most persecuted people living right here in Tucson and Phoenix. Violence and armed conflict have chased millions of people from their homes, their families, their countries, forcing them to seek safety in other countries around the world. Honoring a pride identity as a nation of immigrants, the United States has welcomed refugees and, and asylum seekers throughout its history. Every year, the President of the United States identified global regions in which people have an exceptional need for protection outside of their home countries. These refugees and asylum seekers are then invited to resettle in the land of opportunity, in a nation that cherishes the value of uplifting the oppressed. Um, in this small way that we are helping today, we are going to be making a uh, snack packs for the asylum seekers. They will be traveling uh, sometimes many days on buses and for some this might be the only food that they are able to get. Um, so we are doing a drive that will happen on May 2nd. Um, you can bring anything of these items and I'll read them to you in a minute. Um, any of these items to the church at any time on May 2nd, we're going to be asking uh, for volunteers of the Confirmands to put together as many packages as we can. Um, I'm going to read the list to you now. This is, so the list includes cheese crackers, small bags of chips, granola bars, small packages of raisins, mini bags of pretzels, single serving cereals, fruit snacks with or fruit roll-ups, nuts, juice bath boxes, Gatorade or water, and also gallon sized bags of, uh, to put the um, treats in. Uh, there are many types of refugees and asylum seekers that come through. Uh, this is a description that's on the site about who are the refugees and the asylum seekers. And they are um, 
someone who is, flees their homeland in order to be safe. They cannot return home or they are rightly afraid to return home due to the violence or persecution. The United Nations Convention relating to the status of refugees adopted in 1951 defines a refugee as any person who owing a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion is outside the country of his nationality and is unable or owing to such fear is unwilling to avail himself of protection of that country. Many refugees have experienced trauma or torture for feeling, feeling, fleeing their homeland. They often flee their families and homes and leave behind with little or no belongings. About 80% are women and children. So in our small way that we can help these asylum seekers that are legally here and are seeking a refuge in our country, um, is a small way is to help them by nourishing them on their trip. Uh, they will be sponsored by someone and this is their way to get to that person through having a, uh, by usually traveling by bus to meeting their sponsors. Um, if you have any questions, please call me, Marlene Olson, or the church, and we'll be happy to help you. In closing, I'd like to uh, also quote another Bible verse. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. That's Proverbs 19, 17. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Amen.